Well, there are some horrible news that came out of Atlanta. Well, do you remember that the people were protesting Cop City? It's supposed to be this big, huge training facility they wanted to build out in Atlanta for cops to train in urban warfare. In other words, try to weaponize them even more against black people because you're not going to do nothing to white people. That's sort of training to go do something to us. Well, I want you to hear, you know, the story behind this because, like I said, this is ugly sick. The Atlanta City Council just approved Cop City, the $90 million police militarization facility for police to train in urban warfare. Community members and activists lined up to speak to oppose the building of the facility. Spending $60 million, $60 million taxpayer dollars on a new police training facility is the most heartbreaking, reckless, and quite frankly, anti-black thing this city has ever proposed in my lifetime. Atlanta only has one level one trauma hospital in the metro Atlanta area, but you want $60 million to come soon. Testimony went well until 3 a.m., with 210 people speaking against the facility and hundreds more outside that were denied entry. The Atlanta City Council ultimately voted to approve tens of millions of dollars to go to the project, despite the intense public outcry and opposition. This vote came on the heels of the recent arrests of the three organizers who led the Atlanta Solidarity Fund, which had provided bail money and helped find attorneys for arrested protesters. But the community is not giving up. Organizers filed a petition with the city of Atlanta that starts the process of getting the issue of building Cop City on the November ballot. They say the struggle doesn't end here. So as you heard that one brother said that they only have one level one trauma hospital, but they're going to spend all this money to put up a Cop City. Atlanta only has one level one trauma hospital in the metro Atlanta area, but you want $60 million to Cop City. Testimony went well until 3 a.m., with 210 people speaking against the facility and hundreds more outside that were denied entry. The when we talk about reparations and we say, oh, they got money for reparations, they always coming up with millions and millions of dollars to do whatever they want. So basically, Cop City is going to be the race soldier training ground. And, they gonna, and they, it's interesting they chose Atlanta to go put it at. It's interesting. You didn't go into the heartland of America. You didn't go into these rural areas where... The, nobody wouldn't have stood up to them. You notice that? I think about the strategic place they put this, Atlanta. Why you didn't put this in West Virginia somewhere? But see, they're not going to use that against white people in West Virginia. Well, they could easily put up Cop City. Nobody would have been protesting it. They're like, okay, well, the cops over there, that's fine. But they do this in Atlanta because in case black folks, you know, have a problem again with a race soldier taking one of our lives, and black people hit the streets, they want to be able to, to know how to quell it a lot faster. Because this cop city is supposed to be a whole city they're building to train them on everything, on the latest tactics. You're probably going to see all kind of the robot dogs and all kind of technology they're going to have over there for black folk. Because that's the only time they pull out all their technology for black folk. Then you heard the other part where you had a group with Atlanta Solidarity Fund. How you go arrest them when they're trying to give attorneys and pay bail for protesters? Um, that's not illegal to provide attorneys and pay for bail. What laws are you breaking doing that? But they also talked about recently how during the George Floyd protests that the FBI was targeting 327 people, I think, during the George Floyd protests. And they, and they don't want to reveal who they, who they was targeting or anything like that. Like, it's, like every time black folks get in the street and fight for justice, it's always the same cast of characters who's trying to undermine. Like I said, these people are here to maintain white supremacy, folks. So they're here to disrupt, undermine, infiltrate to, to maintain white supremacy. And like, you know, I think one time me and Sister Demetria was having that conversation. As long as you live in the same cave with, with the beast, he got access to you. That's why I always tell black folks, sometimes I just want to get away from their behind. I get tired of it. The Atlanta City Council just approved Cop City, the $90 million police militarization facility for police to train in urban warfare. Community members and activists lined up to speak to oppose the building of the facility. Spending $60 million, $60 million taxpayer dollars on a new police training facility is the most heartbreaking, reckless, and quite frankly, anti-black thing this city has ever proposed in my lifetime. Black folks can't even live their doggone life in Atlanta without worrying about 
them erecting Cop City. Like I said, that's a slap in the face. And then the Atlanta City Council and our, that new mayor, uh, what is his name? Andre uh, Dickens, Dinkins, well, if I say his name wrong, I remember when they went in on him for, for saying he was approving of it. I said, oh boy. I said, here we go. I said, yeah, that thing may pass. And sure enough, because they paid him off. They paid him off. Oh, trust me, he got a bag. I told y'all, if, if you really want to know about your politicians, have, have, it, have a, a, a law passed where they start getting forensic audits on their finances. And you start seeing all that money they're getting uh, from behind the scenes and under the table. Because how is it you get in office in a city like Atlanta, knowing the history of the police with black folk, and you as a black mayor is cool with Cop City? I mean, you know different than, than uh, Officer Adams over there in New York. That, that's moonlighting as a mayor. But let me know what y'all think about this situation, man. Like I say, this, this is, uh, it, it's crazy. You gonna put a whole cop city in Atlanta. One, one, a, a, a black city for the most part, cause it's mostly black. And you, and you want to do that because you want to use those tactics on black folk. 